Hey guys, Angry Joe here, and it's time for the studio tour. A lot of you guys in the comments and on our streams have asked for this. Some of you know I have moved places. I have uh, lived, yes, I've lived with my dad uh, my pretty much my whole life, uh, and I was able to move out and get my own uh, place, uh, mainly because we were essentially using, uh, my dad had moved out. Uh, we were using the computer room, and the living room as uh, essentially our place of work. And it was very cramped. We would constantly run into each other and hit each other and stuff. So um, I was like, I was searching for uh, a new studio, a new place. And I realized, you know, I don't really mind working from home. Uh, so if I work from home, I'm going to need to have uh, big areas that, you know, four, three, four grown adults can can all uh, uh, do their work in. So um, I have a list of partners here that I'm going to share with you uh, that I've partnered up on uh, getting some of this specialist equipment. So if you guys are ever wondering what client kind of equipment do I use, I'm going to tell you and uh, share everything that I have here. Some of the rooms aren't finished. Some of the rooms are in progress. Uh, some of it is extremely messy, like it's basically, you know, where we live. Uh, so I want to warn you guys on that. And uh, yeah, so let me show you uh, a little bit of behind the scenes of the new Angry Joe show. All right. Okay, so this is the Angry Reviews room. Uh, and as you can see here, I've painted it uh, green. And I have, uh, I got to write all this down because this is crazy. So uh, these are Dazeen LED uh, video lighting. And I have so many of these in the house. I think I, I've recently upgraded from soft boxes because I was using soft boxes for like 10 years. But honestly, you need to upgrade to the LED lighting because this does so much better. I have uh, some more uh, LED lights. These are the old ones. I did combine soft boxes with LEDs before. This is from Cowboy Studio. Um, and, uh, and then I have a Rode overhead mic. That's the NTG4 uh, for our boom mic purposes. Uh, and then I have uh, these Acousta Mac panels. So th with a big ass room like this, uh, a lot of the sound carries and you can even hear a little bit of the echo now. Uh, it was really, really bad. So we had to do something to take care of that echo. So not only did I put up uh, Acousta Mac panels, which we got a 10% discount from Acousta Mac. Thank you to you guys. Uh, and then we also did shag carpeting. Now, these are just little shag carpets that I bought off of Amazon. Um, now, one thing that I was noticing is, especially if I'm, you know, over here, you'll see like green on my face. And I think that's because, you know, when the light hits some of these green uh, wall panels, uh, they're sort of a little bit of the shiny reflective kind. And so the whole idea of painting the room green to make it easy didn't really work out or it hasn't worked out. And so that's why I bought this uh, eSmart green screen. Uh, and I'm going to test that out in a recent review uh, or in upcoming reviews because it kind of wraps green around my face. And you can even see it now. Now, that's really why you buy these lights so that you can get rid of that and once you have all these lights going, then it should take care of that together. Let's just do an example. You want to get some lights, obviously, on your, on your face here. So with all the lights on, I definitely look at that. Look at the difference definitely takes care of it but i'm still trying to improve my green screen as much as possible and i just think the paint that the painters use the contractors use there um is too reflective and what that will do is it will create like white right behind me and stuff so i think the fabric as you can see uh it, it's a little more even lighting and it works a little better because that fabric soaks up some of the lighting uh okay so that's not all i'm sorry i'm, I'm having to handheld this um basically uh, i have a custom solution up here on the roof these are um newer advanced 480 led panels the company is called newer newer 
Um, and I didn't know what I was going to do. These took forever uh, to set up because my electrician is like, you want me to do what? Uh, you know, and he, he uh, it took weeks basically because he kept bringing over different lighting. And I was like, I need 4K lights because that's the color temperature uh, that, that looks best or 5K. And he kept, he's like, well, there's only 2K and 3K. I was like, no, there's other Ks. Can we, can we find them? And then he was like, well, I could custom make. I was like, no, no, no. So I basically had to go out on Amazon and be like, dude, look, these are bi color lights. Uh, where you can change the color uh, on the fly if you want and change the temperature, the color temperature. And he's like, oh. But then we had the problem, like, how do we mount them? So uh, we do. We used a custom uh, track system. And it's so weird because it was like each one of these came with a power unit. And I'm like, man, I'm going to have like a tarantula of cords, uh, you know, on the roof. But really there's like this cool little adapter that, it's powered by the track on the metal track. It's crazy. So he did that, uh, which I am thankful for. Um, and then, of course, we have uh, the thing that probably helps the most. As you can see, I'm echoing, echoing. But if I come over here and I take our new theater curtain and I close it up, right? And now check now check out the sound right is the sound not super good it's way better uh this is from rose brand i partnered up with rose brand i think they gave they also gave me a 10 15 percent off discount uh this is their theater curtain uh with a custom track on there now uh my contractors when they got this custom track they were like what is this <laughs> we don't know how to install this so uh, we all kind of figured it out together. Uh, same thing with uh, the mounting these uh, Acoustamac panels. That's simple. They give you these clips, these Z clips. There's one metal piece and then another metal piece that fits onto that. So that was relatively easy to do. So I would recommend that if you're starting a YouTube channel, uh, you're going to want to upgrade your lighting and your audio, okay? And these Acoustamac panels gonna be a, a really good bet and then if you have wide open big you know archways or spaces uh, in your studio you're gonna need a theater curtain like this so that is the angry reviews room uh, we have a whole room dedicated to just nothing but filming those angry reviews and uh, okay, so now uh, part of the reason why I got this place was because of this room and then I realized I'll, I'm never gonna use it, but we did find a use for it. So look at that sound difference, right? When we, when we come into this room because there's no Acoustamac panels up in this area. So here we have the, uh, what, I, what I call the OJ and Alex uh, misadventures area. So originally this place had this office and then it had a tinier office back there. And I thought, that's great. I will work in the tiny office. The boys will work out here. I'll close the doors and I won't be able to hear them screaming when they're streaming <laughs> while I'm trying to edit, you know, uh, an angry review or a number of the videos that we're doing. Well, uh, that didn't work out because <laughs> obviously sound carries and you're gonna need something better than these doors. Now, I guess you could have upgraded the doors and everything, but no, I just needed to get the boys as far away from me as possible so you can get a little piece and quiet when you edit and I want them to laugh I want them to be as loud as possible when they stream because they have some awesome streams so uh, we decided that this room will have uh, you know their their own little studio so they got their own little camera there they have and I'll put the camera in the description uh, then this is pretty much our printer where we print everything um, now their background is a little boring this is their background so we gotta spice that up maybe some disc plates uh, maybe, you know, uh, maybe even a green screen and, and they can fade into the background if you guys like that style better. Um, and then, so then we're coming into this, this small office here. Now it's a little smaller. So originally I was thinking maybe on the roof, we can put like one of those drop down little arms and, and, and I can have a VR headset, right? and you will never have to worry about cords. You'll just be with the VR headset. But then I said, nah, you know, I don't do VR that much. And, you know, for the longest time, I kind of wanted to do a lot more VR reviews. I wanted to be the PewDiePie of, of VR reviews. 
but I realized the technology was a little too early and stuff. Um, and by now we have wireless uh, headsets like the Oculus Quest 2, if it wasn't linked to Facebook. Uh, so obviously I'm not gonna use that as that room anymore. Instead, this could be like a reading room. You can put a bunch of books in here and we can like read up on stuff that we need to read up on uh, for our reviews or really awesome is I've seen these motion chairs. I would love to talk with a company that does those motion chairs and for like racing games and, and flight simulators. Uh, and maybe we could put in like a motion chair or something here and I could charge people $5 to come over and play on it. <laughs> like the old school arcades. Um, so that was the idea there. So we have, uh, so downstairs is where the boys stream their Miss uh, uh, OJ and Alex's misadventures on Tuesdays and Thursdays when we aren't super busy. Because uh, if a major game comes out, then it's all hands on deck. We all go upstairs and uh, work hard on that. So let me show you upstairs now. So we have, uh, let me, going up the stairs here, uh, this really nice shag carpet is, uh, feels pretty good on the feet. Um, so upstairs we have the uh, board game uh, studio. Now I'll go and show you the board game studio later, uh, but you know, I'm uh, by myself uh, <clears throat> essentially in here, but I've started to convert some of these rooms into more work rooms. So in the old studio, so this is one of the bedrooms that I just basically pulled all the furniture out and I know it's a little small, but it works for this uh, new studio. So there are those lights again, which uh, are amazing. Uh, so that's where Alex will be, or I will be. So this is the movie reviews slash news uh, studio. So Alex is on that side, <clears throat> while other Joe and me, or other Joe and Alex, depending on if it's movies or news, will be on this side. <clears throat> we have uh, a soundboard right here there's the uh, infamous soundboard um you guys have liked to make that an internal joke i mean i pressed a bunch of the uh where's the buttons uh a bunch of these sound buttons once you know to test it out <laughs> oh that's so annoying joe <laughs> good uh but i've stopped pressing those uh according to your feedback and uh so this is the zoom l8 which is what we use and then we throw on three of these microphones on there. The microphones that we use are these Audio Technicas. I think they're called uh, BPHS1, if you were wondering. Um, so I dedicated this whole room to that. But as you know, we're starting to uh, build up our board games. I am releasing a board game, uh, Street Fighter the Miniatures game. We're working on Mortal Kombat the Miniatures game. Of course, the pandemic has uh, ruined it. And then my uh, need to make the game as best as possible has delayed it a bit. Uh, so you can look forward to that in 2021. So that's why we're building up our board game studio because we have a board game company essentially together. So let me push this green screen over and you can see that I use the, uh, the storage space in the living room of this area to store some of the terrain and some of the audio equipment and older console stuff that we use. So that is essentially the uh, movie reviews and AJS newsroom. So now we'll come out. Oh no, I only have 5% battery. Hold on, let me take care of this. Okay, so let's start again. So we have uh, a lot of my board games. I have so, so many board games. Luckily, this place has plenty of storage. Um, and we can get all them board games stored in all of these areas. Maybe some upcoming videos, as you can see. Um, but here is the area I'm very proud of. I put a lot of work into it. Um, so here is our board game studio. So... Um, I have some Ikea Pax wardrobe cabinets that we're doubling for army containers uh, for Warhammer 40k armies. Um, I have some uh, Ikea complement shelves. These are these little uh, glass shelves. You have to buy those separately that each of these armies are on. 
and then I have some Ikea shelving over here as well. I'll probably replace those with more of these if we end up getting more armies or if we get into a, a different game. Uh, but mainly the core of it is going to be, oops, I dropped the uh, stream deck, uh, is the uh, war gaming table. So this table uh, it was an older, uh, gosh, geek chic table uh that company went out of business um but i am uh, getting it needs to be a little bit bigger for some of these battles so i'm working with rath skellers right now rath skellers uh who are assembling a new table for us i cannot wait for it um but i want to share some of these uh custom jobs these secrets that i've done this is a arms and mounts camera mounting arm uh, it's like when and then I uh, then we did this little rig that up with Alex's help little custom overhead camera Then all the wiring that you see here actually goes into the arm and it goes up into the ceiling And then across the ceiling and then down there uh, down here to the PC uh, and that was a lot of custom work that uh, I did along with uh, my TV install guy. <laughs> you know, I kind of roped a lot of people into trying to, uh, you know, do some of this stuff that's never been done before. People come in the house and they're like, what the hell is this? Are you a dentist? <laughs> so, uh, but anyway, that's uh, how we get our, and then I, we mounted this camera upside down and that allows us to get a little closer into the action. So we're going to see how well that works out versus just having a camera on uh, a little handheld gimbal um, and uh, obviously check out this badass little uh, artwork that we have put on this um, I think it's like an eight by seven uh, uh, standing board it's it's really awesome it kind of adds to the theme uh, for when you're actually playing the game and when we film some of the uh, the battle reports and stuff so this will serve as two separate shows new shows coming in 2021 this will be the battle reports uh, and this will be our uh, table time table time being the board games that we make and play and feature for you guys as well as other companies board games and then the battle reports is its own show separate things starting out with Warhammer 40k, sort of recapturing my childhood um, and using some of these older armies and new armies that we have painted um, from some painting partners we're working with. Den of Imagination is working on a custom Angry Army Space Marines chapter, the Angry Marines uh, and or the Angry Legion. Uh, that TV right there basically will display chat. Uh, so we live stream our board games. And so that's what we need. And we have that soundboard over here. I'm looking to get a new one. I'm not sure I really like this Yamaha because I can't control uh, the sound of the music and things that play uh, versus our own chat. Uh, but as you can see here, I have a bit of a cable nightmare. Um, I just dropped that stream deck. But this more Audio Technica. Now I do have a wireless uh, headsets and that is from Rode Link. Uh, now these wireless headsets... They give very good sound, very similar sound to the headsets, but the battery power on it is only like uh, two and a half hours. And as you know, these battle reports can sometimes take, uh, you know, three hours or when we play stuff like what we're really excited to play later on here. Twilight Imperium, the granddaddy of all galactic domination board games, takes like eight hours. So it's a hassle to constantly replace the battery. So I thought that I would grab extension cables for everybody, these extension XLR cables, uh, and just at least have headset audio for at least four players. Uh, we might have to get more for Twilight Imperium or something like that. So big board game studio, big board game storage. Uh, I went ahead, this, this area was not here. I went ahead and had a contractor install this because as you play board games, you always got to do a little bit of the drinking, right? So we've got that set up. Here are some more armies uh, that we are working on. I'll scan by here some other uh, games. Uh, we have a, a, a terrain partner, GameMat.eu, who, as soon as they heard that we were getting into 40K, supplied us with like six of these mats. They were so excited. Uh, and I want to thank you guys for, for doing that. So if you're wondering where all the pre-painted terrain comes from i don't have the time I, I don't have the time to like assemble all that stuff so gamemat.eu gave us all that so that 
is the board game uh, area, board game studio. This is for battle reports and for uh, AJ's table time, which is going to be live streamed on uh, Twitch. And then we'll put up those complete live streams to a new YouTube channel uh, that I plan to start that will contain all of our live streams sort of unedited for you guys. And then I'll probably put in some edited versions of it in the flash. So, so you can see some of my helmets that I took from the last place that I've been collecting. Uh, so those are those are cool. Okay, so and then uh, one of the final areas that we have here is this is where all the work gets done. This I guess I would call our editing studio. This is was normally a theater room, uh, but you know theater rooms these days they don't get used that much. Uh, so we decided to just turn it into our command station with, where we have all of our. Uh, gaming and editing PCs. Uh, we partnered up with Origin, so all three of us have Origin PCs. They gave us a percent off. I think it was like 40, 50% off partnering up with them uh, that powers the Angry Joe show. There's Joe. Say hi, Joe. And there's Alex. And uh, so there in the background here, uh, I wanted to have like a OJ cam because chat really likes that. So we'll do the over the head shoulder cam. And there's Alex. So then my PC is on the up opposite end here. And then you'll be able to see the boys when I kind of sit down here. You can both see them. Um, in the future, we were hoping to... I know it's probably making you sit going all over the place. Maybe install this Magwell card, which is going to give me four HDMI ports into my PC. Now, I'm not sure it's going to be able to handle all this. It's a lot, a lot of power. Uh, to maybe give them a uh, webcam. So I've got my, not webcams, but my DSLRs. So give them DSLRs so like uh, we can switch to, you know, their perspective. So we're working on that. Again, that's going to take a lot of wiring. Uh, and I wanted to try to keep this place as uh, little wired as possible. But that's what we have here. All these wires running from that side all the way to that side. So this this area is not done. I'm already making myself busy, so hopefully you guys are all right. Um, and then we have here, I went ahead and bought these, uh, I think that's Palisade, these three theater chairs. And this is, you know, they, we got them all like these little LED colors so that you, this is, you know, whose chair this is when you turn it on and it goes red. Uh, and that one's blue. And we don't know, Alex, or that's Joe. And then there's Alex. And then right here, we were hoping to do uh, some watch parties with you guys, uh, watch movies together, because uh, watch parties is a thing on Twitch. We don't know how well it's going to go. They did open it up for global, like worldwide uh, area, so now the whole world can watch stuff with us. Or if we, or if we, if it's not on there and we have to watch it separately, this is where we'll watch, you know, the uh, Netflix and and HBO Max and things like that in order to do uh, the reviews for you, and then we run into that newsroom slash movie reviews room and record. Board. So here is the projector. Now we have this old projector that was here in this place before I got here. Um, but I, we're going to partner up with LG here soon uh, to replace that projector and get us something a little bit better for this uh, big screen here. Now, uh, one final component I haven't set up yet because the consoles haven't arrived is the PS5 and the Xbox Series X. And the Xbox, and the Xbox are going to go... Uh, right here maybe we'll do a little entertainment center or something for the egg book and then we're uh there's a tv that we'll set up behind this projector an lg tv i actually already have it back there um and i need to get this uh this projector here to go up and down automatically so that we can see that uh but this this area is still a work in progress so that is uh, pretty much it. Now, uh, we've been working on some secret things, too. Um, some of you already know if you watch the streams, definitely follow us on twitch.tv backslash Angry Joe Show. Uh, I'm going to show you one of those now. So this is a, a camera wire. Now, why would this camera wire be so long and have this little crappy cam here? Well, it's because we've been doing kitchen cam. Uh, some of you may know Alex is a chef. He's very good at uh, making food. And uh, other Joe is very terrible at making food. And we think it might be funny uh, to, in the future, we don't know when, but do like little videos on, on maybe dinner in the movie kind of thing or something like that. So what I do is I drop that camera and I drop it downstairs on that, that uh, um, 
USB extension cable. It's crappy. Eventually, we'd probably want to upgrade to a, um, a DSLR on that camera. But I drop it down here into the kitchen area. And so the kitchen area, and so I wanted uh, like this little island kitchen thing. Uh, I had them paint this black because I'm all about white and black. Um, and this will be uh, a little studio, a kitchen studio for how to cook in the future. Now, I, I, I don't know if it's going to exactly go like that, but even if it's not late at night, sometimes I'll drop the camera down. We've done it before and I've made little, uh, uh, um, <laughs> what do you call them? Uh, roly eggs out of that. And people were like, Ew, this is gross. What is that? Uh, you know, stuff like that. So, um, that is, uh, the kitchen area. And then one final thing here is this costume room downstairs next to my bedroom uh, is where we keep all of the Angry Joe Show costumes. I bought these racks for about 50 bucks each on Amazon and we just throw them all on racks and then we've got the closet just filled with costumes that we've collected over the years um, and this isn't all of them at my old house my uh my, my old house, my dad's house, I still need to bring over some of the costumes uh, for this room. So guys, that is the complete studio tour. Um, if you want to see more, let me know. Uh, the I think that's everything though. Uh, we use uh, the Basically, the small office will eventually do something with the misadventures room, the angry army room, uh, angry reviews room with the green screen. Uh, we have this costume room. We have upstairs the news slash movie reviews slash TV streaming reviews stuff uh, room. And then that's five. And then six is the board games slash battle reports room. And seven is the computer room where we do all of the editing at the Angry Joe Show. And all of this stuff is made possible uh, by you guys. Uh, I was able to convert my dad's house for 12 years, <laughs> saved up money, and uh, finally got my own place. And we all uh, we're, we're, we're here now doing our videos. And uh, 12 years later, it's, it's, it's been amazing, an amazing journey. And I want to thank you guys for, um, you know, this new phase that we're getting into. And 2020 has been a pretty crappy year, uh, so hopefully uh, 2021 will be a start of some awesomeness, um, some great new angry reviews, uh, some of our uh, board game business uh, stuff and board games, and uh, and then much more uh, streams and things like that. So uh, if you have any questions, uh, let me know, leave it in the comments, and uh, thank you guys so, so much, and thank you to all of the partners. Uh, I'll put their links in the description, people that... Uh, you know, I reached out to to try to find custom solutions for some of this stuff. And if they gave us a percent off, I'll, I'll put it in there and uh, want to thank you guys. So uh, that's it. Uh, thank you for supporting the Angry Joe Show over these 12 years. And uh, here's to many more years. And uh, yeah, we have links to our Twitch where you can support us. We have a Patreon, we have a YouTube join button. And, uh, and then just by subscribing or sharing our videos or liking them, it all helps us to create more content for you guys. And wear, of course, more silly costumes, all right? <laughs> so I'll see you guys on the next Angry Joe Show. Bye guys.